Good day. Welcome to another video from realestateforsantacruda.com. My name is Zach McReynolds, and I appreciate and thank you for being here. Today we'll be talking about the seven reasons why now is a good time to buy a home. Seven reasons why now is a great time to buy a home. It is a prime time to buy a home. You've heard the news. The housing market has been through a rough patch. Sales of existing homes have declined at a rate that took many by surprise, leaving many to wonder what's next. But the savvy buyers didn't miss a beat. While the doomsayers were taking a one-dimensional view of the buyer's market, they realized the market skittishness gives rise to a more favorable buying climate. So where does that leave us? Well, a lot smarter, able to recognize an opportunity when we see one, and aware of the facts that point to now as the prime time to buy a home. There's not going to be another $8,000 tax credit. It's just, it's not going to happen. The low mortgage rates and low home prices, those are the new tax credit. In December 21st, 2011, mortgage rates hit an all-time low. We will never see this again. You know, 3.75 on an FHA loan is, is phenomenal. So why now? Here are our seven reasons. Number one, home affordability is at an all-time high. The median mortgage payment on the median priced home as a percentage of the median household income is lower than it's been in a generation. Mortgage rates are at, an all, are at rock bottom, all-time lows. December 21st, it hit 3.94, an all-time low for mortgage rates they will go back up. I mean, we're already seeing it s slowly go up now. The Fed's saying that they're not going to manually touch them until 2014, but that doesn't mean that they can't be driven up because of just the law of supply and demand within the, the housing market. Number three, home prices are back on the rise. Um, this is on a national level, but we're seeing this here in Santa Clarita. We are seeing things get multiple offers, multiple bids, things getting bidded up. Um, we, in fact, Sherry and I have had a client that bid 50000 over asking price and they still didn't get the home. Number four, sellers are motivated. You know, that this means that buyers have the upper hand and even this is turning. We're starting to see um, buyers get back in the market, investors getting back in the market, inventory is getting snatched up pretty quickly, um, not enough things being out there as far as inventory is concerned as well. You know, the tide is already turning on these things. Financing is readily available. The banks are back in the game and they're ready to lend to well-qualified buyers. Owning versus renting is increasingly favorable. Since 2009, the average principal and interest payment has fallen below the average rental rate. And the gap is now wider than it's been in the past 22 years. Home ownership is still at the core of the American dream. Owning a home is still critical to financial stability and wealth building. It's a forced savings account, a place to live, and a fabulous tax deduction. So back to our seven points. Number one, homes have never been more affordable. For individual home buyers, there are only a few facts that really matter. One, can I afford this home? Two, is it a good investment? Three, does it meet my family's needs? The buyers have the edge. Home buyers of the past year, they got a great deal. And buyers for the balance of this year have an edge over sellers. Affordability could be could reach generational high in the second half of this year because of rock bottom mortgage interest rates, helped partly by the Fed's very accommodative monetary policy. That's from Lawrence Young, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors. That was last year. And it's true. We were seeing that. Here's the median mortgage payment as a percentage of median household income. If you look at it, this is affordability. So over the past decade, affordability has obviously reached an all-time low. You know, it's surprising that nobody is talking about this. The most important housing statistic, it's gone largely unreported. Homes have never been more affordable. Number two, mortgage rates are at rock bottom, and they won't be forever. 
Like I said, the national average on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage dropped to 3.94% in December 2011. That's lower than it's ever been. If rates rise 1% on a $400,000 home, the monthly payment goes up over $200 a month and you pay more than $70,000 over a 30-year loan. Here's the uh, interest rates just kind of per decade. And like I said, even in 2011, it was even lower than this. Doug Duncan, Fannie Mae's chief economist, notes that the current market is highly favorable for home buyers. Interest rates are at historic lows. It's hard to imagine rates going any lower than they are now. House prices have come down considerably. If your credit is good, there's a lot of money, a lot of money available. Number three, prices are trending back up. Every major price index points to a housing market that has hit bottom and is moving in a positive direction. After the 30 months of declining values, home prices appear to be stable or appreciated in nearly every U.S. market. The market is probably going to zig and zag a little for the next six months, but it's not going to drop any further. As William Wheaton, the professor of economics and real estate at MIT, Boston, Massachusetts. We've seen that happen even here in Santa Clarita. We are seeing things starting to get, like I said, multiple offers. Things are getting bidded up. It's, it's happening. Sellers are motivated. <clears throat> when supply exceeds demand, buyers have the upper hand. And we're already starting to see this trend turn here in Santa Clarita. Savvy buyers notice the conditions we've been speaking of since last year. Right now, inventory is going fast and some with multiple offers. Lenders are back in the game. Subprime mortgage crisis brought underwriting standards back into the mortgage origination process. And while the final quarter of 09's financial meltdown led to a sense of that financing edge right up, mortgage funds are now available. If you have a job and can afford the payment, chances are you qualify for a mortgage. Also noteworthy is the recent drop in general mortgage loan rates and an uptick in the high end of the housing market. The sector, which was not bolstered by the $8,000 first-time home buyer tax credit, is faring quite well, providing further evidence that the recent sales setback is simply a function of the market readjusting to the expiration of that tax credit. Ownership costs are dropping below rental costs. The recent downturn in the housing market resulted in a drop in rental rates, but rents are back on the rise while the cost of home ownership has dropped. We're seeing that. Right now, it is much more affordable to own a home than it is to rent a home, especially when you factor in the tax breaks, benefits. Number seven, home ownership remains the core of the American dream. A recent Fannie Mae study reveals that the majority of Americans still aspire to own a home, and for good reason. Owning a home is critical to financial stability and wealth building. A home serves as a forced savings account and provides a solid asset as well as a place to live. Despite the recent market upheaval, the vast majority of Americans still consider home ownership to be important to the economy and preferable to renting. Since the end of World War II, promoting home ownership has been high on the list of the federal government's priorities and will continue to be so. And this just shows a graph um, based on the purchase price of 200,000 with 10% down 30 year fixed rate mortgage versus asking rent, your monthly principal and interest payment, your total monthly payment. And as it points out, the, rest, the rent versus buy equation needs to also take into account that rents are subject to increase every year and mortgage payments remain fixed through the life of the loan. Another key factor in the affordability picture is the federal tax deductibility of mortgage interest, which amounts to an annual savings of thousands of dollars for the average homeowner. Eh, we won't read that one again. The 2012 Cotton Report finds bottom of market reached in 2011. For the past few years since the crash, speculators have been trying to predict the bottom of the market. Well, according to the February 2012 report by Cotton and Company, an industry leader in residential real estate, that point has passed and all signs are pointing towards an upswing. And we are seeing these signs in our real estate market here in Santa Clarita. Mortgage rates cannot and will not stay this low forever, and coupling that with rising housing prices, 2012 could prove to be the coulda, woulda, shoulda year for those that don't make a housing purchase. 2012 is the year. 
If you'd like a free home buyer's packet, or if you have any questions regarding any of this information, please email me directly, ZachMC at KW.com, or you can email Sherry, Sherry at KW.com. You can certainly give us a call. You see the numbers at the bottom there. Please reach out if there's anything that we can help with. We do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.